Hello, this is Abhi. The topic of our discussion in this video tutorial is convergence of sequence. In this video tutorial, I will consider three examples of sequence and show by definition they converge to uh, their limit. And there will be one example uh, in which I will show you that the sequence does not converge. So here is a recall of the definition of sequence and what does it mean by convergence of a sequence. I cover this topic in my previous video uh, in a detail. Please watch those video if you have not done so. So what is a sequence? A sequence is a function whose domain is set of natural number. And when we say that a sequence an converges uh, to a number L, to a linear number L, uh, for every epsilon, if for every epsilon positive, we can always find a natural number N so that the distance between the general term of the sequence and L is less than epsilon whenever the little N is uh, bigger than or equal to uh, that capital N. And if the sequence is converges, this is the notational form. Uh, we write, we write limit n approaches to infinity of a of n is equal to L. In our very first examples, we will show that the limit of the sequence to n plus one divided by five n plus four is equal to two fifth. And we will show this by using the definition of the convergence. So before I uh, basically give you the proof of this uh, examples, I will do some scratch work. So here is my scratch work. So in scratch work, basically what I would like to find, I would like to show that 2n plus 1 divided by 5n plus 4 minus 2, third, 2 fifth is less than epsilon uh, when little n is bigger than or is equal to that capital N. So my goal is here to find that capital N so that this inequality hold. So these are the two goal. The one is to find N and we want to find N so that this inequality hold. So we will begin first simplifying this expression which is on the left hand side which is a 2N plus 1 divided by 5n plus 4 minus 2 fifth. Uh, the first what we have to do is we have to make the uh, common denominator and uh, simplify this expression. So this will be a 5n plus 4 and uh, this is a 2 and uh, 5 here. So in order to make the common denominator what I will do is I will multiply so here 2n plus 1. So I will multiply this term by 5n plus 4. And here I will multiply 5n plus 4 on the top. And here I just multiply by 5 here and 5 on the top. So if I simplify this expression, now you're going to get 2. So uh, what I will get the common denominator is 5 5 n plus 4 and on the top I will get 10 n plus 5 there is a negative sign which I have to distribute 10 n um, minus 8 so therefore this simplifies to minus 3 divided by 5 times 5 n plus 4 now I can remove the absolute value the absolute value of negative 3 is 3 and since the denominator is a positive number, so the absolute value will be uh, simply 5n plus 4. So this is the simplification of the left hand side. Now I would like to make this left hand side less than epsilon. So this is my goal is to make the left hand side less than epsilon. If I do so, I can find basically n from there. So first I will multiply this by uh, 5 and divide by 3. So I'm going to get 1 over 5 n plus 4. And this will give you uh, 5 epsilon divided by 3. So if I take the reciprocal of this quantity, I will give me 5 n plus 4. And this inequality will flip. And this will be a 3 divided by 5 epsilon. 
So from here, I can subtract 4 and divide 5. Therefore, n will be bigger than 3 divided by 5 epsilon minus 4. And whole thing is divided by 1. Multiply by 1 fifth or divide by 5. So now this real number, this is a real number, is a person of interest. So if I choose my N, if I choose my capital N, this capital N, uh, some number, some natural number, which is a bigger than that. And uh, that basically uh, a number exists by Archimedean property. So therefore I'm gonna choose, so I will choose my capital N as this, the number which is a more than this real number but which is a natural number. So this, this is the way I'm going to choose. I'm gonna take the ceiling of that number and then I'm gonna add one. So this will be a uh, natural number. So this is a belong to the set of natural number. So this is a natural number, which is a definitely bigger than, so bigger than this real number. For that natural number, I can prove that uh, Basically, the difference of my general term and the limit to fifth is always less than is equal to epsilon. So now I will write down the proof. So proof for any epsilon, for epsilon greater than equal to zero, uh, there exist n, so which I, I, which I choose basically one fifth, um, three divided by, 5 epsilon minus 4 plus 1. So I add 1 in order to make sure that uh, these every things basically hold, each inequality will hold because all I need to take is n little and bigger than that n. Therefore, when n is uh, uh, greater than or is equal to n, so this will implies, this will definitely implies that n is strictly bigger than 1 over 5 uh, 3 divided by 5 epsilon minus 4 because this real number is smaller, strictly smaller than the natural number which I choose because I choose a ceiling function which is the greatest on teacher. So if this hold, it means I can go back and uh, reverse all the step of my uh, work which I done here. Uh, 5n plus 4 is bigger than 3 over 5 epsilon. So, and this implies, this is basically implies if I multiply by, if I take the reciprocal of this, so it's going to be a 1 over 5n plus 4 is less than 5 epsilon divided by 3, which is this inequality actually. And then I'm going to go right on this inequality which is a three over five and five and plus four, strictly less than epsilon, but this one is simply is equal to this inequality, uh, this expression. So this implies, uh, if that is true, this is equal to two and plus one, uh, five and plus four minus two fifth is less than epsilon when n is strictly greater than, and n is greater than or is equal to n. So this proves the limit of the sequence, the, this sequence is 2 fifth. Our second example is we will prove that the limit of the sequence n square plus 2 divided by n square plus n is equal to 1. So similarly, I'm going to uh, begin by doing this scratch work first. In a scratch work, I would like to uh, make this quantity n squared plus 2n, n squared plus n minus 1 uh, less than epsilon when my little n is bigger than or equal to when my little n is bigger than or equal to capital N. And my goal is to find this capital N first. 
So first I'm gonna uh, take the expression on the left hand side and simplify this one. So I have n square plus two divided by n square plus n. I'm gonna basically make the same denominator in order to make the same denominator. All I need to multiply is because this is a one over one. So n square plus one in the denominator and also I have to multiply that in the denominator and also in the denominator. So if I simplify this, this sign will distribute. So it's gonna be a n square plus two minus n square minus n divide by n square plus plus n in the denominator and this simply n square will cancel out and you get two minus n. I will put the absolute values on the top and also on the bottom. But since the bottom function is always positive, so I don't need to put any absolute value in the denominator function. So now I can write this is equal to n minus two divided by n square plus n, because this is absolute value. If I pull out a negative sign and throw it out, it will not change the, uh, because it's absolute value, it will not change the sign. So this term is uh, simply is equal to n minus n square plus two. And this is a strictly less than n divided by n square plus two because if I take two, which was a positive number and is subtracting from the set of natural numbers. So this whole term will become uh, less than this one. And also this will be a strictly less than, sorry, this is a n. So this will be a strictly less than n over n square because if I remove the positive term from the denominator, this term get larger than this term and this is simply is equal to one over n so what i have done so far i take this term which is on the uh, left hand side of this inequality and i simplify this one and i show that this whole expression is less than is equal to one over n or in other words i show this expression is just one over so this implies if I want to make this expression, if I want to make this expression less than epsilon, all I have to do is, so this implies all I need to do is I need to show that I need to find n so that one over n is less than epsilon. Or in other word, I need to find n which is a bigger than one over epsilon. So here it is a clear the my choice of capital N must be this number. So since this is a, not a real number, uh, this is not a natural number in order to make a natural number, I'm gonna put the ceiling. And in order to make sure that my each inequality is true, I'm gonna add one. So I don't need to find the best N, I didn't need to find only the one N. So therefore uh, this natural number will work. So now I will write down um, the basically proof of my example. So for, for epsilon greater than zero, there exists a capital N. I know already what is this capital N is. This is the ceiling function one over epsilon plus one. And so that, so that, when n is bigger than or equal to that capital N, this implies n is a strictly uh, greater than is equal to one over epsilon because the way I choose that n is uh, this uh, capital N is strictly bigger than uh, one over epsilon. So since if n is bigger than or is equal to n, so therefore the little n will be also bigger than one over epsilon. So here on I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do all the reverse calculation from here on. So if this is less than one over epsilon, so it implies uh, one over n will be less than epsilon. But we know that from here, if I go back all the way, 
I know that n square plus two divided by n square plus n minus one, this is a less than or is equal to one over epsilon. So this inequality, which is true because I already did that calculation. And this is a less than epsilon. So if I take this inequality and this inequality, this implies n square plus two divided by n square plus n minus one is strictly less than epsilon whenever I take n bigger than or equal to that capital N. So this proves that the limit of this sequence, therefore the limit of the sequence n square plus two divided by n square plus n in fact is equal to one. So this proves our second example. Our third example is limit n approaches to infinity sine n square divided by n to the power one third and this limit is equal to zero. Again, we will begin the scratch work. And in this scratch work, I would like to show sine n square divided by n to the power one third minus zero. This is less than epsilon. This is I would like to show when n is bigger than or equal to some capital N and I need to find this capital N. How to find this capital N? First, I'm gonna take again the left hand side, which is a sine N square divided by N to the power one third, the absolute value of this, and I will simplify this one. So this will be a strictly less than or is equal to one over n to the power one third because we know that the function sine n square is always bounded by one so this is a famous inequality the sine and cosine theta they are always basically less than or equal to one therefore uh, this absolute value is always will be equal to one over third so if I want to make uh, this expression less than epsilon, all I need to do is I need to make this expression less than epsilon because there is a less than or equal to inequality here. If I can make this one less than epsilon, so all I need to do is I need to make this is a less than epsilon. So this implies all I need to do is I need to find a n so that one over n to the power one third is less than epsilon. n to the power one third is bigger than one over epsilon, or this implies n is bigger than one over epsilon to the power three, if I take the power three on both sides. Now I can choose my capital N. So the choice of my capital N will be the ceiling of this real number, which is a one over epsilon to the power three. And I will add one so that each inequality is true. Um, so therefore, now I can write down the, uh, basically the detail of my proof. I just did scratch work. So therefore for all epsilon, positive, so if I check any epsilon is degree greater than uh, zero, there exists a natural number n, which in fact is this, uh, one over epsilon to the power three, the ceiling of that plus one. So when that happens, so if I choose now, when n is, if I choose little n bigger than or is equal to capital N, this will implies n will be strictly greater than this real number. So which is a one over epsilon to the power three. Now I can reverse all the step of my calculation here. So it means if n is strictly greater than one over epsilon to the power three, it means n to the power one third will be strictly less than one over epsilon and uh, this will implies one over n to the power one third will be less than epsilon. But one third, one over one third is bigger than or equal to this sign. 
n square n to the power one third minus zero. This is since this is the less than is equal to one to the power one third, or this is a strictly less than is equal to epsilon. So this implies this term sine n square n to the power one third minus zero. This is a strictly less than epsilon when I choose my n larger than that capital N. And this completes the proof of this example. Our fourth example is we have a sequence a n which is equal to minus one to the power n. And we want to show, we want to show that the sequence a n does not converge to one. Or in other words, the limit of the sequence a n is not one. So if the sequence is not convergence, this is also is known as a sequence is a divergence. Or so in other words, we need to show this sequence is a divergence sequence. So we will show this result by a method of contradiction. So first we will assume, so let's assume that uh, a n is converges to one. So if a n is converges to one, it means for any epsilon greater than zero, uh, there must exist a natural number n uh, so that so that uh, the difference between a n, which is a to the power n minus one is less than epsilon whenever n is bigger than or is equal to n. So this is the definition of the convergence of the sequence. But uh, as you can see that if n is even, if n is um, even, um, then a minus one to the power n is basically one. So this is a one, so one minus one uh, less than is equal to epsilon. So less than is equal to epsilon. So this implies zero is less than is equal to epsilon, which is a true, which is, which is true. Um, but, but if n is odd, if n is odd, then this is going to be minus one and that's going to be a minus one also and this is going to be less than is equal to epsilon. So this implies you have two basically minus two and the absolute value of minus two is two. Two is uh, greater than is equal to epsilon. So this tell us that uh, this result is only possible if I choose my epsilon bigger than two but the definition say for all epsilon. So in other words that if I choose my epsilon, if I choose my epsilon, let's suppose one half, there is no n, I will not be able to find any natural number because uh, if I always find n as an odd natural number, so this gives me epsilon, it has to be bigger than two, which gives create a contradiction to the epsilon as to us one. Uh, one half. So if I choose my epsilon begin, there is a no, there is no n. So that I cannot find n, there is no n. Uh, so that this inequality hold minus one to the power n minus one less than is equal to one half uh, for all n bigger than or equal to capital N. So this gives us the contradiction that this sequence, therefore this sequence does not converge just to, this sequence does not converge just to negative one. So when we are proving the negation of the definition, all we have to do is we have to find at least one value of the epsilon. Uh, for that value, there is no n. So uh, there is no way you can find that n which hold this inequality. This is the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.